Hey guys, very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome to the video number 465. My name is Ajay Parmar and today in this video I'm going to teach you, I'm going to share actually three important pivot tricks, you know, which everybody is supposed to know, right? And uh, so you're watching youtube.com slash C slash Ajay Kumar Parmar. This is my channel name and we are on the video number 465 and these all videos are divided into four sections and let me tell you about those the categories basically it's excel vba excel access front end and access vba right and i always begin my uh, you know the videos with this introduction so that uh, uh, all of you who keep on emailing me and posting the comments that they don't find the you know the sequence of the uh, the numbers the videos because there are so many videos there are 460 videos and we are growing day by day so this is just to you know ease off that pressure from your head so guys this is the playlist for the Excel VBA, this is for the Excel, this is for the Access Frontend and this is for the Access VBA, right? I hope this is going to uh, make a sense a lot of, uh, um, uh, for a lot of you because now you can go and watch the sequence in this order, right? Now what is the playlist? So when you actually go to my channel, on the front page when you click on this playlist, these are the, all the 45 playlists which I have created for you on every subject almost, right? Uh, so any video which starts with the access vb it's access vb any video which starts with the excel it's excel any video which has a title called excel vb it is all about the excel vb and after the hyphen sign you can see that it's they talk about that specific you know uh, the topic as well the subject as well right so these are all the playlists once you scroll it down that's how you're gonna see if you don't see this kind of a format then no worries uh, when you click on the playlist there you have that option called view and you can change when you click there you know you would see their option called uh, the grid view so you can see that you can change that the view from there also right and sometimes people say that they don't see the all the playlist here so what you can do is when you go to the last section of this you know here there's a button called load more so you can click on the load more and you will have all the videos there guys right so anyways let's today uh, talk about these three unique features uh, i really want to start it quickly i don't want to waste your time so this is uh, how it is so um, this is your raw file which i have prepared this is a raw database where we have the candidate names the education the city and the assets and the sales the number of sales you know done by these candidates now i'm not here guys to talk about the pivots how to create the pivots obviously you should be knowing that if you do not know that then you can go and watch the playlist uh, excel charts and pivots right there i talked about the pivots from the very scratch now in this particular case i'm going to share these three important tricks with you one is the how to set the auto width option uh, how to how to make this option off and then we're going to talk about the handling errors if, if you have the errors in your pivot then how you can actually hide them and what is the enable drag and drop field option right how you can activate it so let us go and let us start one by one right so i'm going to uh, you know click on the sheet five and i'm i'm here actually going to create a pivot right so here i just use the shortcut key alt dp and this is what you get to see this is the exit 2003 version window which comes and it is still in use so i always use that otherwise you can also go to the insert and you can click on the pivot right that's all up to you now i go to the raw file guys and this is where i'm going to select this entire data Control shift right arrow Control shift down arrow this is going to select the entire data for me i go to the next and i just say finish all right now once you have this the you know the pivot created i simply go and let's say i create here the candidate name and i drag the candidate name and i want to see the sales so i just go and drag the sales uh, let's say we want to have their you know the city so i just want to have the city as well here from which city basically they are you know coming and then of course we want to see their asset right and this is i'm going to change this to sum i go to the value field and i click on the sum and now uh, you can also, I mean, drag the education option. That's all up to you. But anyways, uh, let's first of all see how it is going to work. And instead of the city, you know, uh, on the row, I can put it in the columns also. Let me just drag there. I think this looks much better. So we have here the sales and we have here the assets, as you can see here, right? And I can simply select the entire pivot. In fact, this entire sheet, I can, I can just align them in the center, right? 
so this is how your pivot looks like and let me just hide these um, the rows and let's just hide these columns as well right so that's how your pivot looks like for now right so here you have the sales which are coming and then you have here you know the the assets and now let's go and discuss one by one and this is where you have the total number of the sales and the total number you know the assets right so this is how the pivot looks like now what we are supposed to do here is now if i just go what we want to discuss the auto width column option now let's say guys what you want to do is i just select this entire pivot and let me say that i just reduce the size of this to eight for example right now i just double click here and you see that the pivot is going to actually refresh the moment you double click on this icon what happens your this you know the row is going to actually the column the width of the column is going to fit right i refresh it when you refresh it so you see that there's nothing happening it it, it looks good now what happens let's say we decide that this tier 1 and this tier 2, tier 3, all these actually widths are to be standard, isn't it? Most of the time we need the form thing, so we want to do that. So what I will do is, I will simply select all these columns, let's say. And I just select these, you know, tier 1, tier 2, tier 3, tier 4, tier 8. And I just go and I say that, right click and column width. And I give the, let's say the column width as maybe 15, right? Now when you give the column width as 15, right you see that this is how it looks like obviously the width is increased now the moment somebody is going to refresh the pivot now when i refresh the pivot so what happens it's not going to keep that width in the memory and pivot again comes back to the same position if you're working on a pivot i'm sure you would have faced this problem and this was irritating me a lot in my beginning days i'm talking about i think 10 years back when i was working in 2003 right so how to get the rid of it because i want these uh, you know the widths to be standardized so let's do one thing uh, so let's say just i just select these two okay and i go and just change the width of these uh, three portions right you can see here this is how i have changed the width of tier 3 and tier 4 right now before if i again do the refresh what happens the width is going to be removed that's not going to have its original you know that originality so what you have to do right click on the pivot make sure your you know the selection should be on the pivot and you go to the pivot table option now when you click on the pivot table option now here you will find an option which is go to the display and here i think this is where you uh, get to see that option uh, no it's not there basically uh, let me go back to the layout uh yes that's the option auto fit columns with on update so what happens by default this option always remains on you have to uncheck that right auto fit column with on update now just click ok now when you're gonna click ok let me just go and refresh it now when i'm going to refresh it you see that the width is not changing isn't it now let's say i just go and again give this you know the width for example just to demonstrate to you obviously otherwise you have to make it visible right this is not visible right now but that's okay let's say i'm this is what i'm going to do i'm just going to shrink all these widths right and here i'm just going to expand that let's say this is how i'm going i'm going to do it and let's say maybe the sum of the sales i really want you know it has it should be it should be wide enough now can we click on the refresh all right let's click on the right click and refresh oh there we go nothing changes right but if I just go and I say the pivot table option and auto fit and I just click OK and now look at this guys you're back on that scene right. So this is a wonderful option remember auto width how we change that right click and go to that the layout alright. Now let's talk about the another thing the handling errors if they come. Now if you look at this in my pivot I get the basically for this item I get the error. Right. This is the error. This is coming uh, as an error. And obviously this is going to show me as an error. Error means error. It doesn't matter the pivot, which format you're using. Like I have used this, you know, this format. Maybe if I just go and put this city over here, then also it's going to show me the error, isn't it? For example, look at this. This is going to show me the error. Now, why this error is coming? It's only because of the reason I deliberately created an error over here right so this error can also come in your pivot data if you are doing some you know division right for example if you divide any number 
with zero you get the divisible error sort of this so if you are using any sort of that calculation you may have this error coming right well it's not about only this error my friend it's about any error maybe you can if you if your table is using some vlookup and it's showing you the na error hash na and you you want to use that table so what we can do is instead of because these errors really really they don't look good at all isn't it so what we can do is we can simply again right click on the pivot go to the pivot table option and in this option layout and format just above this auto fit you see the option called for error value show what now i just don't want to show anything let's say then just keep this option like this and press ok now when you're going to press ok you see that the errors are removed fantastic right this is looking so neat and clean and also this looks great right this this shows that there is no actually as such the number oh maybe you can right click here if you want to show something else you can type in for example you say that any or maybe you can see that um, i just want to show it a zero not a problem just go there and press ok and you would get to see here the zero right i really really love this option right so let's go to the last option enable drag and drop fields now so what happens this, this is my table let me first go to the design and let let us go and change this to the tabular form now you have this option right now look at this very carefully guys now what happens if i have to let's say put the city here and the candidate name here well i cannot drag them right i cannot pull up this and put it before the candidate name what i will eventually have to do is i have to go to the right click and i have to click on the show field and i can move my city over here you know i can just drag this i can change the order from here and you see that this is happening but what if because this going to the show field list is something very irritating you want, you really want that this facility should be here and i can quickly drag them here so what you have to do is again you have to click on the right click you know on the pivot make sure your selection should be on the pivot guys because if you select uh, somewhere outside you won't see that option right i hope that makes sense so you go on the pivot and you go and click on the pivot table option now when i click on the pivot table option what i want to do is i i what i will do is just go to the display option and in this display option you see that display field captions and field drop downs just next to that this is the option classic pivot table layout enable dragging of fields in the grid now if you have ever worked in the 2003 excel right uh, then you know that in there 2003 we have this option we we always you know used to drag these fields right and we always used to adjust them next to each other depending upon how we want the pivot but now in this 2010 and 2013 16 by the way i'm using 16 so i don't see that option but that's not the option is not gone you just make sure your classic pivot table option is on and the moment you click okay now i'll show you what i'm gonna do now i will not go to the field list i will not click you know i will not right click now you see that the moment i hover my this cursor this sign changes if i go here this plus sign changes if i go here this plus becomes a different plus it's a very thin plus right now what do you do the move the how the way you drag any any field you know the way you drag any cell that's the same way you got to drag this so i'm just going to drag this put it here look at this guys i can drag this isn't it fantastic so you you can drag the way you want and this is how it's gonna show you right but remember this is not going to work in the the values the, the values where you are adding or you know uh, subtracting or whatever you're doing I mean I'm talking about basically this where you use the max or the you know the average sum right this is for these rows numbers so I can quickly go and track them so I just put it here that's how it looks well if it looks good i keep it like that if it doesn't look good then i can just go back and change that right so this is how this option is all about enable drag and drop fields right so i hope you this these three tips are going to benefit you a lot and uh, as always thank you so much uh, for subscribing to my channel because um uh, this is the month where i'm getting a lot of subscribers and we are almost going to cross 500 subscriber number this month and to be very you know because i always share uh, everything you know on a very genuine uh, 
um, side you know I try to keep my numbers clear with you so I, I, won't, I must say that this is the maximum number I'm getting this month guys I have been running this channel from the last two years two and a half years and this month is absolutely absolutely stunning in terms of the numbers subscriber numbers the watch time and the number of the clicks and of course the number of the likes right so keep subscribing uh, you know uh, educate people about this channel because this is just the tip of the iceberg you know that I have got so many videos on this channel 460 plus videos on Excel Excel VBA access and access VBA and that is just to simply with that one ambition I want to make you awesome right so thank you so much and I'll see you soon in the next video and don't forget to click on the like and of course to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much guys. Bye bye.